A couple of weeks ago, we did a video about driving. Today, we're discussing a related topic, road rage, how it goes beyond your vehicle and what to do about it. Often people with road rage have underlying anger. However, this might not be apparent in other areas of their life except when they're driving. Other drivers' so-called stupid behavior is something that they can point to as justification to express their anger. Yet, others might not experience road rage or frustration when they drive. While they might not express frustration while in their vehicle, maybe they come to the office and take out their frustrations on colleagues or subordinates. Perhaps they take this frustration home. Another possibility relates to the tendency we discussed in a previous video. People can act passively aggressive towards others. If a variety of frustrating things continue to happen throughout the day, this can make us angrier and more frustrated in general. Regardless of where you fall on the spectrum of anger, here are some suggestions we think are important to carry out. Conduct an honest assessment of your anger and see whether it spills into other areas of your life beyond driving. Working on these areas may help lessen your frustration while you're on the road. If you are experiencing road rage on a regular basis, you should consider seeking the help of a professional. We covered this topic in our video last week. This is because such behavior can have drastic consequences. On average, in the U.S., there is at least one death every day that can be attributed to road rage. Be more community-minded. Consider that the other driver might be late for an appointment or going through a crisis or something might have just happened to them. Look for alternative ways to utilize this energy through sports, recreational activities, even creative expression. There are many ways you can channel this energy. Some of the most successful artists, famous painters, musicians, etc. have done this and turned it into something really nice. However, you don't have to be an artist in order to use this approach. Do you have feedback on this video? Feel free to leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to our free newsletter by clicking on the card on the upper right hand corner of this video. Thank you for watching. As usual, we look forward to presenting a new video in our series next week.